guys what is up and welcome back to the channel uh, I am currently en route to my first highway accident um, not sure if most of you know but we got on highway patrol so I'm en route right now this is my first one I know um, this is my first one I've gone to one before to help out our, our other driver Ray um, with a BMW that they had that was rolled over um, but this one here is my first one that I'm going to by myself and um, you know, like I said, we got the highway contract for a section of the highway, which is pretty exciting. So I'm going to be trying out a new chest mount that I got right here. Um, it's a mount for a body camera, but I shaved the part where the clip goes on. And I used a 3M double-sided tape uh, GoPro mount. And I basically, you know, put it on here. And then I put my quick release mount onto that. And so now I'll be able to just mount it on my chest quickly. So I can go from my hat to my chest or to whatever mount is on the truck at the moment. Um, and try it out. See how it works out, you know. Try to get some different angles. I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you guys uh, in a few minutes when I get there. And, uh, you know, I'll be saying a prayer for whoever's involved in the accident. I don't know any details of it. So hopefully they're okay. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. All right. So... We're gonna get a car back there, but this guy's got a... What the hell is that? What is that? I don't see anything stuck. That's freaking weird. Somebody screwed up something. Been doing this a long time, man. Yeah, the car that I hit hit the person in front of them. The van. Everybody, chain reaction. And I couldn't stop and hit them. I do. I see it all the time, man. People, it's too much. I, a lot of people get too close to each other and then they can't stop. Just do me a favor. Stand on the other side, just in case anything happens. I don't want to catch you. Yeah, that should be much better. That's all the way to the right? No, it ain't all the way. Yeah, just turn it. I want to make sure you got clearance all around. No, hold on. Good? Alright. Alright, try it now. Yeah, it's that stupid bracket. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, you got like two inches clearance all around it when you're turning. Alright, we 
know, I'm shortest in the back. Just watch your fingers. I gotta see what the hell is causing that noise to scrape. Something's scraping really bad, man. That's probably got to be adjusted. I don't know if you see it, but this thing is scraping on the metal right there. I'll have to get that adjusted. That's scraping amongst other stuff. They said they're calling it for a tow. Oh, the rear quarter panel. Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, how you doing? Let me grab some photos of this. It's not drivable because of the scrape in the wheel. But if we rip that piece of plastic off. She went up and got some tape. What do you think? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's all. Well, the quarter panel is what's damaged. Yeah. And the way the quarter panel is damaged, I won't be able to pull this out. No. Because if you look underneath, it's all kinked in this way. Oh, and if I pull, oh, oh, no. yeah, if I right. pull from here, it's just gonna I pull it more see, into I the tire. See, yeah. yeah. It's <clears throat> and it's sitting against the evap canister. Yeah. I can see this. Yeah, because if I pull this out, it's gonna pull it more into the tire this way. The whole bottom section is kinked and pushed in, so it's crushed. <sighs> The red car, are they just driving off they're, or? They're gonna take off, yeah. Okay, cause I'm just gonna wait for them to move so I can back up and load. You wanna back up now? Yeah, I'd like to back up now if we wanna I'll get them, them to move. Forward. You back up yeah, they can go around me and hang yeah, up, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. We'll, this way I wanna we'll clear this up. up. Thanks. <laughs> and then I'll load her up and I'll take her to Enterprise. Yeah, we just gotta give paperwork still, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, she can hang out in the truck. Uh, she can hang out in the truck while I load up, so when everybody's done, I can just go. Alright, so if I'm going to back up, then just pull up as far as you can um, by the white pickup. And then once I'm behind here, you can back up again straight back. Everybody's gonna do paperwork. I like that sticker. Alright, so he's gonna shut the roadway down so I can back up. Feel about the chest mount hopefully the footage is all right i prefer honestly the head mount maybe i'll just get another camera and i'll keep one on my head and one on my chest 
feel like with the head one, you get to see everything I see and the way I'm doing it and all that other stuff. Versus the chest mount, you know, certain angles you're not going to see when I'm bent over. All right. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna load up your car while they're doing the paperwork. Okay. You want? You're more than welcome to hang out in the truck. I got the AC on. You got the radio. Whatever you want. You have plenty of room, so you'll be comfortable. Yeah. Um, but this way, I can load you up. So when they're done, we can just take off and go. Okay. All right. No problem. I have a charger in there if you need it. Okay. Um, might want to walk around the front. Nobody wants to stop. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Right, you got room there? Just watch your head on the mirror. Right, door for you. You're welcome. All the controls are there for the the left one is for the AC, the, the speed. Windows right there. Feel free. Charges right there, okay? Your key your keys are in the car? Okay. Yeah. Could be a lot worse, man. All right, you got it. Too? That thing is hard. I gotta fix that. How well the skate's gonna work. The rear tire is kind of stuck. I told you I'm not a fan of these orange skates. But it'll help it slide. Probably could have just drove the car up.
Hopefully the parking brake stays off. People don't move over. Uh, yeah. No, no, I'm good, man. Appreciate it. Skates under it, so you know it worked. See the skate. Go up a little bit and go back a little bit so I can get the skate out. Yeah, so I might have to set up a a hat mount camera. What's up? Not that much. There is no. Oh my God! He don't listen. That guy. I told him that there was two cars that called for two wreckers. I said if he, I said the cop said if I can pull the guy's bumper off on the F two fifty, he'll let him go and give us this car because he was gonna give the car to somebody else. So I said no. I said I'll pull the bumper out. Pull the bumper out. We were gonna get two. That's what he told me. No, the guy told me. The officer no, said if I pull the bumper out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, he don't listen. I'm kick Luis's butt. All right, park, park and brake on. Close the windows. Well, Richard just showed up because <laughs> I told Luis that the officer said if we can pull the bumper out, we could send the other one on its way and take this one because he was gonna give this one to another company and we would have lost out on both. So I said, I'll pull the bumper out, let him go on his way, give us this one. They said, all right, that works. So that's what I'm doing. Instead of us losing any of the calls, we'll get one. So whoever was coming, I'm sorry, but you know, gotta do what I gotta do. Rich is on the other side helping me out. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna take her to Enterprise and then bring us to the yard. I wanna show you something. Come here. Um This might need to either be adjusted or shaved down. It's hitting. It, oh my god, but I know. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, but well, I don't know, that could be from the other day when they hit something. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying, because I know it looks like it's connected to the the lever for the bed. It might be connected to the lever of the bed, because it's supposed to prevent the handle from right. going. Right. So you might have to they just... Might have hit it. Well, when that hit, else. it probably pushed it this way. Well, somebody else had the bed all the way up over top of the locks and brought it back. Look at the nuts on the top of the locks. That, I think, is right. Good to go? Not yet. Okay. Okay. So he says that he thinks the other guy damaged it, but the problem with these setups that I don't like is the controls get stuck. See? No hands. So when they're bringing the bed in and they're trying to tilt it, they're probably letting go of the bed in and it's probably still going, which is how they ended up on top of the bed locks. Which is why I do not like that about this setup. All right, loosen up the windshield. 
bunch a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys at the drop. All right, guys, we are back at the yard. So I figured out what the issue is with that sound. Um, the sound's coming from a couple of spots, actually. One of them being that bracket on the back. The second one being the bed locks. Um, so I'll drop the car and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. is going to be a little stuck so I'm just going to drive it off the bed instead of sitting there trying to winch it and fight it and put a skate and all that other crap. Got other coals to go on. Bring the key inside and tag it. That worked out perfect. All right, so let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. Let me kick the idle down one second. Oh, I can't. All right, let me let me just show you. So here, here's the bed locks, and as you can see, they're destroyed. So we're gonna have to get new ones. Um, so now, what I noticed which is something that I don't like about this brand bed. Okay, um, let me show you one second. Hold on, let me put on a pair of gloves. Okay, so the problem that I don't like are the controls. That's my number one issue with this bed. See how the controls are? There's no spacers in between the control, all right? And then over here, I believe there's either a spring or there's something there that puts pressure on the controls. So now you got five controls all squeezed against each other. All right, look at this control. You see how it's round over here? And look at this one over here, how it's going like flared up, okay? Now that's, all the controls are funny looking like that, okay? So if you see how it is, like, you know. So the problem is this. This is what I'm thinking that's happening, okay? So when you push the bed control, look what happens. It's not supposed to stick. The bed's going by itself. So what I think that happened is, 
I don't know which driver did it, but if it's a driver that doesn't normally drive this and doesn't realize the controls are getting stuck, could be one of the new guys. When the control's going in and they let go of the control to lower the bed, watch what happens, right? So look. So if you push, if you if you let go of this control, I'm gonna bring the bed back out real quick. Cause I wanna show you what's happening. So if you, let's say you're bringing the bed in and now it's time to tilt, right? So you're gonna tilt, you let go of this to tilt, but look what happens. The bed is still going in by itself. So look, it's still going in because they're stuck, okay? So now what happens is, if you're, if you're bringing the bed in and you're going to tilt it and you're already at the mark where you have to tilt, the bed's gonna go over the bed rails or hit the bed rails, the, the bed lock I'm saying, um, it's gonna either hit the bed lock or go on top of the bed lock before the bed is fully down So that's the biggest problem that I can't stand With this I think it's a poor design. Look at this. It's going by itself. It's not supposed to as soon as you let go these controls should just go back to normal position to stop and That's where you get so anyway um, The cars dropped off. I'm gonna put the key inside mark it tag it and all that other stuff so that's one problem here's the other side controls which had just gotten replaced okay um because they broke so if you can see that is supposed to stop this control from going that way up so you have to bring the bed out and then that will clear the end over there that will allow you to turn this handle up so you can tilt the bed but that is hitting that part of the frame and yeah so anyway that's all done so i will see you guys in the next video um clearly we have to order new bed locks and change that but me personally i think that these controls should come out and put some type of like washers in between them so that they're not getting stuck to each other because that's what's happening so if you have a kylar bed i suggest be careful with those controls